What's up everybody? So today we are taking a look at the all new 2017 Toyota 86. Huge shout out to Toyota of North Charlotte for providing the vehicle for today's video. Definitely check out their website in the description below. So as a lot of you know, Scion is no longer. So the Scion FRS is now rebadged as a Toyota and here it is. So let's check it out. And the model we're looking at today is finished off in a metallic asphalt gray exterior paint color, has an MSRP of $27,800. Underneath the hood, the Toyota 86 retains the identical 2-liter 4-cylinder boxer engine that we saw in the Scion FRS. It has an insanely low center of gravity, being horizontally opposed. Just like with the FRS, the 86 either has a 6-speed manual or a 6-speed automatic with steering wheel mounted paddle shifters. And of course, the power is sent to the rear wheels through a limited slip differential. If you opt for the manual transmission, the engine has actually been tuned up a little bit to pump out 205 horsepower and 156 pound-feet of torque. And if you go for the automatic transmission, the engine will retain the same power figures as the FRS, 200 horsepower and 156 pound-feet of torque. Along with the engine being slightly tuned up for the manual transmission, the actual 6-speed gearbox has been tuned a little bit. The gear ratios have changed to increase low-end power at the wheels, and the synchronizer rings 1st, 2nd, and 3rd gear have also been upgraded. And the rear differential for the manual transmission has also been beefed up a bit. The new gear ratio is a 4.3 to further enhance the low end acceleration. And with a curb weight of 2,700 pounds for the manual and 2,800 pounds for the automatic, expect to see 0 to 60 for the manual come in in the low 7 seconds, with the automatic coming in towards the 8 second mark. Being a lightweight vehicle with a 4 cylinder engine, the car is still quite economical. Manual transmissions will see 21 miles per gallon in the city with 28 on the highway. Automatic transmissions will see 24 in the city with 32 on the highway, all on a 13.2 gallon fuel tank. The overall length is 166.7 inches, the width is 69.9 inches, the overall height is 50.6 and the ground clearance is 4.6 inches. The wheels are 17.7 inches all around with ventilated discs in all four corners. The front end has been updated quite a bit with the all new front bumper. You have a large lower chin spoil to increase downforce and aerodynamics of the overall vehicle. Of course you now have a Toyota badge on the front rather than the Scion. You get the iconic T logo in the lower grille. New LED headlights with the 86 logo on the side. And then coming along the fender, we have a new trim up here with a little aerodynamic fin in it, another 86 badge. The overall side profile is pretty identical to the Scion FRS. Great proportions all around, has that great sports car look. Nice wheel arches over the rear wheels. And then coming to the rear end, we have all new LED taillights with a cool gray section in the middle. Dual exhaust with an updated rear diffuser. A standard backup camera as well. I've always been a fan of the exterior characteristics and with the 86 it retains that awesome looking sports car look. And now with the key we'll go ahead and unlock it, check out the interior. A lot of the interior is finished off in Grand Lux micro suede fabric, has a nice Alcantara feel. Along the door panel we get it up top with white stitching. Great feel to it, very soft and nice looking. You have black leather along the armrest with more stitching. And then surrounding the speaker, more black leather with white stitching, has a nice soft feel to it. Your automatic windows, all your locks, and then your mirror controls. And then you get the aluminum door sill, leading to the sport seats. And then more of the Grand Lux fabric up here. Nice white stitching along the black cloth, and a cool textured gray cloth in the center. Definitely some of the most supportive seats, especially in this price range. Great look, all manual controls. And then that leads to the new leather wrapped steering wheel with some steering wheel mounted controls. The steering wheel has white stitching all around it. Great feel to it with the soft leather. You have your large paddle shifters behind the wheel. And then new for this car is your steering wheel mounted controls. You have all your audio controls on the left side. The nice 86 badge along the center. Your trunk release and your dimming switch on the left side with your air vent. Similar gauge configuration to the Scion FRS. 
Similar dash as well, but you now have that Grand Lux material, which looks so awesome. You have a stitched in Toyota 86 badge on the right side. To start it up, we'll go ahead and insert the key. Turn on all the electronics. You have your large tack in the center with your digital speed, and then your analog speed on the left side. Nice touchscreen infotainment system, similar to other Toyota vehicles. You can go through all your different settings, your Bluetooth, the normal display. And then underneath that, we have all the climate control settings, your air conditioning and your temperature on the right side, your fan speed in the center, then all your different modes on the left side. Nice leather shift boot around the automatic transmission shifter. You have all your different gears. Of course, in drive, you can go to manual mode, shift with the selector, or of course, the paddle shifters behind the steering wheel. Then you have different sport modes as well. You have your traction control on and off, your sport and snow mode. And then with the VSC mode, you can actually turn off all the stability control in the vehicle, so you're 100% in control of the vehicle. And then in track mode, it'll have just enough in there in case the vehicle starts getting a little out of hand, the computer will kick in and save the vehicle. So now we'll go ahead and start it up. And then using the sport mode buttons down below, if you hold down the track mode for one second, it'll engage. And then you can go between sport mode and snow mode, and then of course just turn traction control on and off. And then above the steering wheel, you have a new leather wrap gauge surround with some white stitching on it, giving it a little more premium feel. The overall dash is pretty similar to the FRS. Definitely a great look though. Then you have your leather shift boot for the e-brake. Some storage down below with your removable cup holders. And then a nice look at the seats again. Definitely one of my favorite seats. And then the door panel as well with the white stitching. Then for the glove box, have a pretty good amount of space in here, pretty typical for a normal car. And then behind the seats, this is a 2 plus 2 seater, so you get nice seats in the back, excellent for storage, they do fold down completely flat, and you can actually fit a set of the OEM tires when they're folded down. Not too much space back here, but of course you're not buying this as a four-door sedan, but good enough space if you do need to bring some more people. And then to go ahead and open up the trunk, we'll just pop it from this button right here. You can also use the button on the key fob, we'll go ahead and check out the trunk space. Pretty flat in here with tons of space, you have the latch to fold down the seats. Now we'll take another look at the interior from the passenger side. Excellent looking door panel with the white stitching and everything. The dash is probably the nicest upgrade for the interior, just having this material along the center with the Toyota and the 86 logo embossed. This is definitely a minimalistic interior, not much going on in here, but it's very sporty feeling, has a nice look, and very user friendly to use. And then to check out the rear seat space, again, not the greatest amount of space back here, not really too much legroom, but if you're in a pinch and you need to bring extra people, they definitely serve their purpose. there you go everybody that is a quick look at the all-new Toyota 86 I've always been a fan of the FRS the nimble handling with its lightweight design very driver focused interior and just a sporty feel and as Scion has gone away the Toyota 86 is a great replacement so a huge thank you to Toyota of North Charlotte for providing the vehicle for today's video definitely check out their website in the description below don't forget to give the video the thumbs up if you enjoyed it click that subscribe button down below like our Facebook page and follow us on Instagram so thanks for watching see you all next video